all the learners i am a faculty of biology at srn international school jagatpura jaipur dear learners in this video we'll be discussing about photosynthesis and all the important aspects of it so i hope you'll stick till end watch this video till end and you'll be able to understand each and everything properly first of all we'll discuss about photosynthesis that what photosynthesis is all about so photosynthesis is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy that through cellular respiration can later be released to fuel the organism's activities some of this chemical energy is stored in carbohydrate molecules such as sugars and starches which are synthesized from carbon dioxide and water hence the name photosynthesis from the greek phos and light and synthesis means to synthesize something in most cases oxygen is also released as a waste product that stores three times more chemical energy than the carbohydrates most plants algae and cyanobacteria perform photosynthesis such organisms are called photoautotrophs photosynthesis is largely responsible for producing and maintaining the oxygen content of the earth's atmosphere and supplies most of the energy necessary for life on earth although photosynthesis is performed differently by different species the process always begins when energy from light is absorbed by proteins called reaction centers that contain green chlorophyll and other pigments as well like xanthophylls and carotenoids these proteins are held inside organelles called chloroplasts which are most abundant in leaf cells while in bacteria they are embedded in the plasma membrane In these light dependent reactions some energy is used to strip electrons from suitable substances such as water producing oxygen gas the hydrogen freed by the splitting of water is used in the creation of two further compounds that serves as short term stores of energy enabling its transfer to drive other reactions these compounds are reduced nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that is nadph and adenosine triphosphate that is atp the energy currency of cells now why is photosynthesis important so most people would agree that photosynthesis is a great thing i have never heard anyone argue against it so however some folks have missed the purpose of photosynthesis it's not oxygen production so the primary function of photosynthesis is to convert solar energy into chemical energy and then store the chemical energy for future use for the most part the planet's living systems are powered by this process It's not particularly efficient by human engineering standards but it does its job. Photosynthesis happens in regions of a cell called chloroplasts. The chemistry and physics are complex. It's a bit humbling to consider that the energy in our bodies travels 93 million miles in a little more than 8 minutes and that life has tapped into that energy stream. For a short time that energy is tied up in biological systems before it continues on its merry way into the dark of space. In essence, green plants take carbon, hydrogen and oxygen from the molecules of carbon dioxide and water and then recombine them into a new molecule called glucose. This happens in the presence of sunlight as we all know. Of course, energy is stored in the bonds of the glucose molecule. Glucose is a fairly simple sugar, easy to break down. Ever wonder why kids bounce off the walls and ceilings soon after a good dose of sugar? Chemically speaking, the inputs to photosynthesis are 6 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms and 18 oxygen atoms. Glucose uses 6 carbon, 12 hydrogen and 6 oxygen molecules. Simple math shows 12 leftover oxygen atoms or 6 oxygen molecules. oxygen atoms prefer mates interestingly and not coincidentally the process of respiration breaks apart the glucose molecule respiration occurs in the cells of nearly all the living things the released energy is then used for all sorts of metabolic activity including the energy that you are using to read this article 
Respiration happens in regions of a cell called mitochondria. The chemical reactions are the reverse of photosynthesis using a glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules that is 12 atoms we can say as inputs. Energy is released along with some carbon dioxide and water. This is enough chemistry I must say. Trees and other green plants practice respiration too, just like animals, but they also practice photosynthesis. This is why ecologists categorize green plants as producers and most every other life form as a consumer. It's about the energy. Okay, there are decomposers too, but that's another story and they're still dependent upon the energy captured by the producers. Oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis and correspondingly carbon dioxide the byproduct of respiration. Trees are often accredited as the major oxygen generator for the planet, but that would be false. Most of the planet is covered with water and the collective photosynthesis of low woolly algae in the true oxygen machine. Now we are moving on to chloroplast. We all know this thing that chloroplasts make the sugars. So in a plant cell, chloroplast make sugar during the process of photosynthesis by converting light energy into chemical energy stored in glucose. In mitochondria, through the process of cellular respiration, breaks down sugar into energy that plant cells can use to live and grow. So now as we all know chloroplasts make the oxygen too. So this transforms the water into oxygen and the carbon dioxide into glucose. The plant then releases the oxygen back into the air and stores energy within the glucose molecules. Inside the plant cells are small organelles called chloroplasts which store the energy of sunlight. So now the question is why do we see green? So objects are perceived by humans as colored when the object reflects light back to our eyes. All the other visible wavelengths of light are absorbed and we only see the reflected wavelengths. As such, plants look green because they absorb red light more efficiently and the green light is reflected. Now let's discuss a little about the equation for photosynthesis. So as we all know the process of photosynthesis is commonly written as 6CO2 plus 6H2O gives C6H12O6 plus 6O2. This means that the reactants 6 carbon dioxide molecules and 6 water molecules are converted by light energy captured by chlorophyll implied by the arrow as you can see here on the screen into a sugar molecule and 6 oxygen molecules as the products. So dear learners, that's all for today. I hope you have understood the topic properly. If you like this video, go share, like and subscribe to SRN International YouTube channel. Stay blessed SRNians. Have a great day.